welcome GTYA to our last week in a series called When You Pray. And we've been looking at the Lord's Prayer and the disciples had asked Jesus, hey Jesus, can you teach us how to pray? We recognize something in you, we see something in you that's so deep, that's so meaningful, that's so powerful that we want for our life. And we, throughout this series, we've been looking at a few different aspects of the Lord's Prayer, using this acronym PRAY. That when we pray, we begin with praise and we, uh, we repent of our sins and we ask to forgive us as we forgive other people and, and we ask God for things in our life. And, and then when we come to this last uh, little mini devotional, it's actually why, and it says to yield, to yield to God. And it comes from this portion of scripture. It said, our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy, may your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven and give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And here it is, verse 13. And do not let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Now, I know you've been at a stop sign, a stop uh, intersection and you've not seen the stop sign, but rather you've seen a yield sign and it's just uh, waiting for the cars or waiting for your time to go and that you yield to another car. You know, there's a sense of yielding, right? And there's this also, I heard this funny kind of thing mentioned about uh, the Canadian standoff that you yield to another person that, uh, oh, no, you go first. Have you ever been like there? You go first. No, you go first. Well, uh, and you're going into the elevator, or you're going to the stairs, or you're opening up the door, going through the door. And there's just this, well, you know, you can go ahead. And what it is, it's yielding to the other person's wants and desires. And it's like that. In prayer, when we come to the end of the prayer, it's yielding in prayer is actually about recognizing that prayer isn't about getting your will done, but it's actually ensuring that God's will is done in your life. And so it's, it's saying, God, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is you want to do in my life, I yield to your will. I yield, I, I submit to whatever it is that you want to do in my life. And, the, and Jesus had mentioned in this prayer that we do not yield to temptation, but rather to God. We don't, don't let us yield to temptation. That sometimes and oftentimes in our life, we can yield to temptation. We want to go our own way rather than God's way. And temptation has been there from the very beginning of time. Temptation has been something around all this time. And it starts from the beginning of time. Satan actually said this in the garden he said, God placed the man in the garden to eat and to watch over it. But the Lord God warned him, you may eat the fruit from every tree in the garden, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you, if you eat of this fruit, you're sure to die. And Satan came along to eat and Eve, and he said, you won't die, the serpent replied to the woman, but God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. You see, Satan actually tempted Eve with this fruit. And it wasn't just that the fruit was so great. It was like, I have that amazing apple. I need that. It's not about the fruit. It was about something deeper. And every temptation is about something deeper. At the root of it, it's like, do you trust God? See, at the root of our temptations is, do we actually trust God? Do we trust the character of God? Do we trust his plan and his will for our life is good? And that we can actually fall into temptations in our life because we want to take control. We want to take back into our own hands and say, I don't know, God, if you really have my best interests at heart. And so temptation says, you know, lead your own way instead of leading God's way. You know, the two biggest things is we doubt God's character and we can distrust the relationship that we have. And we say, God, I, I, don't, I don't trust you with this or, or maybe I want to do my own thing in this moment. And temptation, uh, uh, Jesus says, I want you to pray about it and say, deliver us from the evil one because I want to live for God. That at this verse, he actually says, may your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's the desire that we should live like. That it's not getting our will done, not getting our wants and our desires, but it's actually saying, God, I want to live for you. And there are temptations that come along and we fall into temptations. There are consequences for sin in our life. And sin and temptation will actually forfeit our purposes because God says, I want you to participate in the kingdom, in the life, because I have something so good for you. And yet this culture and this world and the evil one will tell us, no, no, you need to do your own thing and you need to live this way because this will bring you happiness and fulfillment and whatever else that you want in your life. But 
I mean, I tell you, when you pray to God, when you come to God, when you hear from God, when you dialogue with the Father, that you trust the character of God, you know Him, and say, God, you know what? It's not my will. It's not my wants. It's not my desires. But I yield and I submit and I follow your will and your ways for my life. See, my prayer is that when you come and you pray to God, that you would reiterate the things that Jesus has said, God, not my will, but your will be done. Not my kingdom, not my own way of living, but your way of living. And in that, you, sub you submit and you follow God's way and plan for your life, and you follow the way of Jesus as he says, do this when you pray. When you pray, say, God, it's your will, not my mind. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one so that I may follow your plan, for they are good for my life. I bless you today. May you have a great day today, and we'll see you again soon.